Hi, uh, I recently received a few requests on how to set up SDL with an Xcode, so that's what we'll be doing today. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go to the SDL website and get the libraries. Also, I'd like to mention that I won't be showing how to do stuff like SDL image, um, but the process should be identical. Um, and if you do have troubles, just uh, send me a personal message and uh, I'll see if I can help you out. Uh, and also, well, let's quickly do this. You want to download the runtime libraries and the development libraries, which are just templates and stuff like that. Um, also, I would like to mention that I'm going to assume that you don't have administrative rights, although that's probably not the case. Um, because if you don't have administrative rights, chances are you're not in the developer group, so you won't be able to use Xcode. But just in case you are not on, say, your machine and this is something at school or something like that I'll just do it for that sake um, but but I'll I'll try and do the tutorial in such a way that if you do have administrative rights it, it, it won't be an issue um, if this SDL frame the frameworks don't look familiar with you I do have a video on frameworks and uh, I suggest you go look at that some good information there uh, terminal um, if you go through the readme I'm sure they'll tell you to go put the the, the frameworks in a location for slash library frameworks. Um, this would be system wide. Um, yeah, that'll work fine. Um, if you do have administrative rights, I'd suggest you go put it here. I'll show you that um, if you do try and put this framework here, it's going to ask you for administrative rights. So let's. I'm going to assume that you don't have those. So what you want to go is you want to go to your home directory. This time, don't put the forward slash library, and then look for the folder frameworks. You may have it or you may not. If you don't have it, just uh, just make the the folder. You can do that by doing m k i uh, d i r for make directory space, and then the folder name. Um, you can also open a folder by just saying open space full stop, and uh, it'll open up a finder window for you. Copy the framework and put it in there. You'll see that it doesn't care about permissions because that's uh, your place. Um, all right, so now we got the the, the framework in place. Um, the other file that we downloaded, the development library, uh, comes with some pretty cool uh, Xcode project files. Um, now, if you have administrative rights and you want this on a system-wide level where everyone can get to it. Um, you can put it in and think CD developer t -t 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 library Xcode project templates. So you can put it in here, and this will be available system wide. Um, I wouldn't advise it. Um, you know, let each user take care of themselves, for, especially for something like templates. Um, and again, like I said, I'm going to assume that you don't have administrative rights. You want to go back to your home folder, go to library, uh, application support, there should be a developer, shared, uh, and then you want to make a folder here called Xcode MKDIR, Xcode with a cat starting with a capital, um, and then uh, go browse that and make a folder in here called uh, Project Templates. MKDIR Project with a capital P Project. Oh, come on. Space. Well, actually, you want to do uh, backslash space templates. And see Project Templates. Let's just go open. Uh, oops. Um, also, I'd advise you to put a, a folder in here and call something like SDL. Um, and I'll show you now, now why in a second. You want to go to the uh, appropriate uh, plat, uh, version of uh, uh, OSX that you're on. Take these guys and put them inside your SDL folder. All right, uh, we should be set up now. Uh, let's close this. Close that. Let's open up this code. Um, <clears throat> If you go and create a new project now, you'll see under user templates there'll be a subcategory called SEL. That's why I said to make the SEL folder there, otherwise it would have just been under user templates and 
if you get a lot of templates it can get messy and so on. Uh, let's create a OpenGL application. Let's just call it test. <clears throat> All right. First thing you're gonna notice if you scroll down is that this guy's in an, in red, and we know we copied the. Okay, well, let me just say that if you copied it uh, in forward slash library forward slash frameworks, then you'll just be able to compile and run it, and it'll be fine uh, because this is where this thing's pointing to. It, it thinks that frameworks there, but it, yeah, it'll tell you uh, no search file or directory. That's fine. So what we're gonna do is. We're gonna get rid of this. You can just hit backspace on that. Click on frameworks. Right click, add existing frameworks. Add other. And then we're gonna go to our library and our frameworks. And there's still a framework. And now, if you compile and uh, run it, it should be fine. Let's see. There we go, fishies. Oops. Did I kill it? I guess so. Anyway, well, I hope uh, this made a little bit of sense. I know I rushed through it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me on. Bye bye.